Hey everyone, welcome back to another session of Kelsey's Arcade. As promised, after moving house and downsizing the number of cabs, I wanted to do a quick uh, updated game room tour. Um, as some of you will know, we went down from 30 cabinets down to 20. We were just spiraling out of control. We had a bunch of cabinets in different rooms. So as you can see now behind me, this bar area and pool room is really just for entertaining. No arcades at all. But let's step back into the arcade now and I'll show you the 20 that we've kept. We'll talk about some of the ones that we've added since the last game room tour as well as some of the ones that we sold and why uh, and what we might be getting next. Let's jump back into the arcade. Okay, so just standing at the entrance to the new arcade room, you can see we've spread them out. This room's a little bit wider than the last house. So we've um, put this uh, center arrangement, but let's start on the right hand side. We'll go around the room and then back into the middle. So start on the right hand side, Terminator 2, we had this since release. We added a new marquee from Sarvo's Arcade. Uh, also the topper, backlit topper from Sarvo's Arcade, I think finishes that off nice. We did pay full price for this and it's now available uh, 300 bucks in some places so um, if you find it for 300 definitely recommend you pick this one up real nice addition to the arcade uh, next one uh, we actually moved the i arcade into the arcade one up room um, i think this new gold edition uh, looks a hell of a lot better certainly respectable to be alongside um, the more kind of uh, true to arcade arcade one up form um, disappointing this company went out of business um, I think they had a lot to offer if they just got the marketing mix um, and the product right but um, yeah really like this no issues having bought it in the company going bust we still play all of the games that were downloaded um, before that company ceased to do business um, we did have the Sindon guns on it we had a little party last night and people were around um, the bracket broke off one side of it uh, and also people just couldn't really play it um, They couldn't figure out how to get the guns to work get into the game multi cage just um, aren't really for me, but I like to leave this with double dragon or R type playing uh, Next up uh, recent addition we got the class of 81 um, Deluxe version so there's no riser. It's just a single piece now at the bottom um, really like this cabinet Recently did a full review. If you want to check that out, find out some more details. Haven't done anything to this, it's just stock. Uh, next up, Marvel vs. Capcom 2. Had waited for this for a long time. It doesn't emulate very well on multi cade so it was nice to get this. Um, Arcade One Up did a great job with the emulation, it runs real smooth. There have been a few updates and a few bugs that have been fixed. Overall, I only really play this locally, so the online play wasn't an issue for us really enjoy playing that um, on local play uh, next we have uh, Star Wars this is the first cabinet that we got absolutely love this one it's still one of my favorites um, and most played again no updates to that that's just been kept stuck moving around here we've got Ridge Racer uh, Ridge Racer overall really like this. I think the marquee is one of the most washed out though I may get um, an update to that as we haven't done anything to it as yet This has just been kept as stock definitely got to add a driving game to the arcade We're also thinking about getting fast and furious, but we were waiting for that to come down in price didn't seem to happen uh, Next up we have Killer Instinct. I'm not quite sure why that's turned off just turn it back on because I want to show you uh, the new marquee again we got this from Sarbo's arcade real crisp graphics um, we got the topper as well also from Sarbo's arcade looks fantastic really like Killer Instinct one of my favorite games in the 90s and had to keep that included in the arcade um, next up we got the three street fighters still now arguably if we were cutting down from 30 to 20 why didn't they get rid of one of these i just couldn't do it honestly 
Um, really like Big Blue, the form factor, how that looks. We added the speaker grills to that. I really like the original Street Fighter 2. It's the first one I played in the arcade as a kid. Need to replace the marquee on that, but we did add the topper from Sabo's arcade. And then you've got the new Yoga Flame one. Love the form factor on this one, love the marquee. I just couldn't pick one to lose. Hence, all three have been kept and kind of central to the back of the arcade here with a Street Fighter rug. Also got a little bit of artwork up here above them. Uh, moving on, MK30th, we've got a full review on this. A lot of YouTubers complained about the screen. Most of them just looking for negativity, for clickbait. There's really no issue with the screen on this. Especially if you can pick this up. I think some places had this as low as 300. I love the design. It fits in nicely side by side with the Yoga Flame Cab. 14 games on that. Really enjoyed Clax that was on this one as well that wasn't on uh, the original Legacy that we had. And in fact, uh, that's the first one that comes to mind. Mortal Kombat 2 Midway Legacy we did sell. So that's no longer in the arcade. We just kept this one. Uh, next we've got Golden Tea. Um, we were thinking of getting the XL version of that. I think that would fit quite nicely in the corner here. Just hadn't got around to it. Um, maybe uh, one that we do want to swap out for uh, the XL version, given the amount this does get played, um, particularly uh, after golf sessions uh, <laughs> on the, out on the course. Uh, next up, we have Neo Geo. This used to be in my office. This uh, was allowed to be moved back out to the main arcade. Um, if you want to see how to mod this, check out my other videos. We've actually got um, all 148 Neo Geo games running on this, plus um, a vast majority of arcade uh, Capcom titles. Um, as you can see on here, this is SNK versus Capcom. Really, really love this game. Could have chosen some different games to show for the tour, given we've got a lot of one-on-one -on -one fighters, but hey, one-on-one -on -one fighters and beat-em-ups, that's what I used to play as a kid. Um, so they're some of my favorite games. Uh, next, we've got uh, Moonwalker. Um, if you want to see how we made this cab out of uh, an original Mortal Kombat cab, check out the other videos. Uh, this is running on a Pi 4. Um, we mostly play Moonwalker on it, but there's a couple of Sega titles that I like, such as Wonder Boy, which you can't get an arcade 1-up cabinet for now. Uh, so that sometimes features on here. Mostly just leave this on Moonwalker. Um, it was certainly a cab I didn't think arcade 1-up would do. We added light up uh, buttons on the bottom, new marquee, uh, as well as the Pi 4 in there. Um, uh, 6,000 games on there, but we mostly play Moonwalker. Next, one of my first cabinets, Final Fight. Um, again, if you want to see how to do this, we're actually powering this off a of Nintendo Switch now using the Intec deck. So check out my other videos, I'll show you how to do that. Um, one of the cool things that I like about running this from the Switch is that I can just skip back out to the home screen here now and you can see we've actually got Capcom Stadium and Capcom Stadium 2 on here which play really nice. You can adjust the screen settings, display settings so that you get the correct aspect ratio. Uh, just plays really nice on an arcade one-up cabinet with the original screen really happy with that mod um, next on this back wall two pinballs one of them intentionally powered down uh, this is out of order after we put the Intec deck into it that then broke um, also I just got sick of having to uh, kind of boot up log into the Nintendo Switch find the games nobody ever played it and then uh, it's also developed a problem. So we're going to put the original PCB back in that one. Um, if you want to see how to put the Intec deck in, I do have a video on the channel. My recommendation would be steer clear, keep it stock, uh, which is exactly what we have done with the Star Wars cabinet. Haven't done anything to this apart from this decal on the front. Um, just kept it stock with the 10 Star Wars tables. Plenty enough for anybody to play. The benefit of this is obviously when people come around, they just jump straight into the action, pick a table, away they go. No messing around, like 
you get with some of these uh, multi-cade modded cabs. Um, we did choose to sell the uh, the Marvel pinball. Um, reason being, buddy locally uh, wanted to put that up off me, so I uh, gave it to him at a good price on the basis that I could still go around his house and play it. Uh, so we're down to two now. After I've replaced the PCB on Attack from Mars, may actually sell that one as well. I don't like the two together. It looked much better when there was three together. So I may just drop this down just to the one and just have that central under my uh, Paul Lars Star Wars artwork there. Okay, down to the final four. What I really liked about this new house and this wider room was the ability to put some back to back in the middle. So I kind of played around with this. I originally had them in a row, had some two players mixed with four players. And then I just decided, um, you know, why not put four, four players back to back? Because these take up the most room when you've got them along the wall. So let's pop them in the middle. And I really like how this looks. So we've got NBA Jam here, nice and stock. One of our favorite cabs. We've got uh, NFL Blitz, added my signed Raiders football to the top since it hasn't got any Raiders players on the stock decals. Absolutely love this. I uh, haven't done a review on this. Uh, I think there's plenty of reviews out there from other YouTubers. Decided not to, uh, not to spend time reviewing, but massive thumbs up. Then we've got Golden Axe. Pretty stock on this one, no changes. Just uh, added some uh, kick plate decals and some Sega logos. Absolutely love this, one of our favorites. I did put this on Facebook Marketplace to sell, despite being one of my favorites. And then I um, got cold feet and decided not to sell it. I just couldn't part with it. Um, and then finally, The Simpsons. Um, absolutely love this game as a kid. Again, no way that we were gonna get rid of this one. Um, out of the four players though, I did have to pick one. I had five four players. Um, ultimately, I decided to sell the Turtles, not because I didn't like the original Turtles cabinet, but rather because we'd modded it and the multi-cage just don't get played that much in here. So I put a lot of money into that cabinet, about 1,200 bucks into it. Um, you can see what we did as a full review using 99 Lives deck. Um, put a lot of money into it and it didn't get played as a multi-cade. So uh, hence the reason we sold that one. Um, I don't know if you can spot which other ones we sell. It's actually difficult just put on the spot to remember which ones we sold. Um, but we used to have under the Atari sign Tempest, that one went. Um, we had an at game system, which was terrible. Uh, we sold that one. Uh, the Turtles we sold, the Mortal Kombat Legacy we sold. Um, Grieve me to part with Frogger. I love Frogger, um, but that again, that didn't get played as much. Um, what else did we get rid of? There was 10. I can't remember. <laughs> Off the top of my head, I can't remember. But anyway, it doesn't really feel like we sold that many. Like I said, we went from 30 down to 20 now. Um, really like what we've got left here. They fit in quite nicely. In terms of cabinets I'm looking to get, I did have the Casino Cade on pre-order. I decided to cancel that because I wanted to get it for a party that I was having and couldn't get it in time. Um, also, Wheel of Fortune just came out on the Infinity table, which we love playing. So I just didn't feel the need to get that Casino Cade anymore. Also, Time Crisis is coming out soon. I haven't pre-ordered that yet, but I'm thinking I might slot it in over here between Final Fight and Moonwalker. Only reason I didn't pre-order that yet was because I'm going to be away on the release date and um, wanted to make sure I was going to be home. So we'll see. Um, also see what else comes out. I do like the look of the Pac-Man um, XL. I might get one of those and see how that stacks up against these taller ones as you come in. Um, but otherwise, uh, hopeful that we'll get some other newer cabs such as Afterburner and others um, coming into the, into the 2024 lineup from Arcade 1UP. Who knows, let's see. Anyway, thank you very much for hanging with us and checking out the new lineup at Kelsel's Arcade. If you like this kind of thing, please consider subscribing and we'll see you on the next one. Happy gaming.